Hello, uh, welcome to Quintero Love. Buenos días, bienvenido a Quintero Love. As you can see, I am in Home Depot. I'm gonna pick up something that I need to finish the basket. Como pueden ver, estoy en Home Depot bien tempranito, todavía es de noche, como pueden ver. Ellos abren a las 6 y voy a recoger algunas cosas que me hace falta para terminar el basket y hacerle el videito. I'm gonna pick up something that I need to finish the basket and then I can upload the, the video how I finish it. Okay. See you inside. Okay, now I'm going to cut out these columns. We need five, one, two, three, four, and five. And these two are gonna be different. I'm gonna show you later. These are three quarter by three quarter. All of these uh, things you can do it in a thicker measure, but I just trying to save weight in the crate. And it doesn't get too heavy. And this measure still hold the hold it really well because I use it the whole season and it works fine. Ahora vamos a cortar todas estas, son cinco las que voy a cortar, todas las columnas, una, dos, tres, cuatro y cinco. Estas dos las voy a enseñar más adelante lo que voy a hacer, que van a ser diferentes. Todo esto son tres cuartos de pulgada, la hago así finita para que no pese mucho el crate cuando vayas a cargar las palomas. Y así todo lo he usado esta temporada completa y, y, se, y está bien, no se rompe ni nada. Así que vamos, vamos a cortar eso ahora. They are 7 and 3 quarters high. Son 7 pulgadas y 3 cuartos de altura. Okay, with these two columns at the end here, where the, the, the door goes to release the pigeons, I'm gonna do something different than this. Uh, I put these uh, like aluminum uh, angles here, but uh, uh, or canals. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this piece a little wider, and then I'm gonna make some canals here with my table saw, and then the door is gonna slide there, and then I don't have to put this aluminum angle. Lo que voy a hacer aquí es que en vez de poner estos ángulos de, o estas canales de aluminio que puse aquí, voy a hacer esta, esta columna un poco más ancha, más o menos de este mismo ancho, aproximadamente one and a half, un y, un y medio. <coughs> voy a hacer la, I'm gonna do it like one and a half width. Entonces para ahí, en vez de poner estas canales, lo que hago es poner la puerta que deslice por unas canales que le voy a hacer a la columna. Déjame enseñarle. I'm gonna set my table saw to one and a half. Vamos a ponerla una y media. Ok, now I'm gonna lower the blade halfway the thickness of the column. Ahora voy a bajar 
la, la cuchilla a la mitad del grosor de la columna. Yeah, that is fine there. Okay, let me show you what I want to do. This is the, the thicker column that goes here on the door. And then this, from this line inside, it go uh, inside of this, uh, of the basket there. And all of this is gonna stick out. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a canal here between these two dots. And then the door can slice through that canal there. Esto es lo que voy a hacer. Esta parte completa de esta columna, lo que está marcado para allá, va dentro de la jaula. Y entonces toda esta parte sobresale para afuera. Y entonces de, 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 dentro de esos dos puntos voy a hacer una canal para que el, el plywood este se deslice por dentro. Ok, the two dots are between one and one quarter inch. Como puedes ver ahí, los dos eh, puntos esos por donde va la canal va desde una pulgada a un cuarto de pulgada. Quiere decir eh, que voy a poner mi, mi table saw en una pulgada. Now I'm gonna set up my table saw to one inch there. Now you can see that I am opening the canal. I have to keep moving my table saw to open the whole canal. And you can see that it's like halfway into the good. Ahí pueden ver que ya estoy abriendo la canal. Ahora tengo que seguir moviendo el table saw para ir a seguir abriendo la canal aquí. Y entonces ven como llega a mitad ahí de, de, la, de la pieza de madera. Now when we finish the canal, and you can see the one quarter inch plywood will slide through that canal. Como pueden ver ahora, la, el plywood de un cuarto de pulgada de ancho se va a, va a pasar por, por esa canal. Okay, now I'm gonna cut the bottom. It's going to be 24 by 16 and a half. Because you remember the these pieces measure 15 and then these are three quarter and three quarter that make it 16 and a half or you just just can take this upper piece put it there and then just measure with the just trace a line there and you just cut there ahí estamos midiendo la pieza de abajo eh, mide 16 y medio por 24 Pueden medirlo o si no pueden coger esta pieza de arriba y la ponen bien ahí y trazan la línea y por ahí se corta entonces. I'm just gonna set it in my table saw and I'm gonna get a straight line. Vamos a ponerlo en el table saw mío y tengo una línea exacta ahí. 16 medio. Okay, now I have my seven columns, five uh, three quarter by three quarter, and this one is a one and a half by three quarter with a canal for the sliding door. I have my bottom and then the, the top part of that we did in the last video. Ahora tengo todas las partes aquí, las siete columnas, la parte de abajo del, del basket, y vamos a empezar a ponerlo todo junto ahora. Okay, now we're gonna start putting the, the columns. Uh, everybody put one here. Remember to left the door open on the top side. I use my Gorilla Glue and my staples, I use the long staples. Uh, recuerda, ahora vamos a ponerlo todo junto. Uh, recuerda dejar la puerta que abra para arriba. Vamos a empezar a poner las columnas. Estoy usando aquí el comedero para que me ayude a sostenerlo ahí, en lo que voy pegando esto.
Okay, I finished putting all the columns, as you can see. And these are the one that they have the canal there for the door to slide out. This is not the door for there, but you get an idea. You see, it's gonna slide like that. Ahí pueden ver como la puerta se va a correr. Esta no es la puerta de ella, pero tienen una idea. Puse todas las columnas ya. Ahora vamos a poner la parte de abajo. Now let's go put the bottom. Okay, now for the bottom, I'm gonna put glue in all the columns. Vamos a poner pegamento en todas las columnas. And then I put the bottom there. And then I, I measure halfway here to make sure that the column goes in the middle there. And then I start stapling. <laughs> Okay, as you saw it on Depot, I got a different uh, Goddard cover. This one was cheaper. It was two bucks cheaper than the other one that I used for the other basket. Como pueden ver, en Home Depot busqué otro cover de esto de, la, de las canales de las casas. Este era dos dólares más barato. Uh, y yo creo que va a funcionar igual. Aquí, como pueden ver, tiene un doble. Y lo que voy a hacer es ir enderezándolo completo. As you can see, it's folded here. I'm just gonna, gonna straight it and make it more flat okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut this at the same height that the other one that my old one because this works really good for drinking water and then i'm gonna cut it a little longer and then i'm gonna fold it on the bottom vamos a cortarlo a esta altura igual que el viejo y entonces vamos a cortar un poquito más largo y lo vamos a doblar para que doble aquí en la parte de abajo y la otra pieza entonces la usamos arriba and then the other piece we're gonna use it on top there Okay, then I'm gonna put it at the same height. It's five inches. I just measure five inches there, and then I mark it on both sides. I cut the piece already, and then I put it there at five inches, and then I start like folding the bottom one, the bottom part. And then I keep doing this through the whole thing. Okay, I have a piece already finished here, and then I start, start staple it. For this one, I use the smaller staples. Okay, and now to the top, you put the other piece that was left from, from cutting this one. And then just uh, just make sure to put the smooth part toward the holes here. Okay, I've been I finished both sides as you can see there, and then for this side, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a piece of PVC that I have and then I just gonna cut it and put it here and that is you can use anything you can use the same material or you can use a piece of plywood aquí lo que voy a usar este trocito de PVC que tenía ahí sobrado se lo voy a poner ahí pueden usar cualquier cosa un plywood del mismo este del piso y ya ahí ven como terminé los dos lados ya le hice los dos para que tomen agua para ponerle agua por los dos lados Okay, we have all the sides already, the back and the two sides, and then we just need the door. Let's measure from each 
end of the canal, from the bottom of the canals, and it's a 15 and a half. Vamos a medir ahí el, desde el, el fondo de la canal esa, son 15 y medio. Vamos a usar una plancha de un cuarto de pulgada de plywood y entonces vamos a hacer la puerta ahí. Okay, now let's try it to see if it works. Perfect. You have the, the sliding door to release the pigeons. I'm gonna cut a little shorter. I'm gonna put a piece of wood on the back that is gonna is gonna stay here. You can see. I put a piece of, piece of wood and it's gonna stay here. And this is gonna hold it close. Eh, vamos a Ahora ya ves que cayó bien, vamos a cortarlo un poquito más corto y entonces vamos a poner un pedacito de madera aquí para que se apoye aquí y, y la puerta cierre bien. Ok, I got this little piece. I measure in the middle there. I'm gonna put a little glue. Vamos a poner un poquito de pegamento ahí. Ya me di donde tiene que quedar bien en el medio ahí. Se lo viramos y le ponemos unos staples ahí. Ok, perfecto, ya tenemos la puerta. Perfecto, we have the door already. Okay, and now for the handles. I got this in Amazon. They are cheap. They cost, I think, like seven or eight bucks, three of them. And then I'm just gonna put it here in the middle. I'm gonna measure the middle, and then I'm gonna put it in the middle there. And then for the locker here for the door, I use one of these. Okay, and now as you can see, the basket is finished. You have the handle, you have the locker here of the door. And then the, the door, the release door, as you can see with the canals that I told you. Oh, perfect, it's finished. I'm gonna, I'd like to put a straw, you can put like a good shave also on the bottom. Of course, the wood shave, maybe it's gonna come out, but straw is better in that purpose. But this is a basket. This one, if you want, you can do some finish also, I won't do it. You can put, for example, these, these angles of wood. You can put it here on the side and then just nail it there and then uh, I mean it's gonna give like a nice finish to the to the basket if you prefer but if no I just gonna leave it like that okay thank you so much for watching hopefully this is helpful and uh, you can follow all the steps and make your own basket for the pigeons uh, if you like the, the channel please subscribe uh, like and share and see you next time